شرقت نفسي بنور من فؤادي حينما رددت يا رب العالمين. And then he says, Allahu Alam. But, uh, but he, this is the promise, Shahid. Remember, the Quran was read by the Sahabas. Yeah. Razin, Abu Razin, he came to the Prophet. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Yadhaku Allah." Abu Razin, he said, "Aw Yadhaku Rabbuna." Does our Allah, does Allah laugh? And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Yes, He does." And then he said, "We'll never give up on our Lord who 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 who, who laughs." Shahid, I'm asking you a question. They came and they interpreted laughter to be merciful. Abu Razin didn't know what. That's the Ahl Ta'wil. Yeah, yeah. They say that the the. Abu Razin is shocked with something. He said, "Does Allah laugh?" He knows Allah is merciful. He knows Allah is forgiving. All of those interpretations, that's from your pocket. Hmm. The Prophet could have sent to this companion. By the way, this hadith is Hassan ibn Mujma'i Turuqiyah. Abu Razin radiallahu ta'ala, Sheikh Nasir authenticated it. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam here, he didn't say, Abu Razin, what did you understand from me? Wallahi, al-zahir ghayru murad. Al-zahir ghayru murad. Bedouin men would come to the Prophet and he would, they would hear the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, I swear by the Lord in which my sword is in his hand. And he didn't say, Ya qawm, Ya ayyuhal qawm. Adahir ghayru murad. The adahir is not intended. The, ash, the mu'awwila and the mufawwila have taken that step with each other. To say that the adahir is, is not intended. I'm saying to you, from Sufyan ibn Uyayna's kalam, the sahabas, or, by the way, the sahabas only came and said this words means this. They had to explain it like that when they, these people start coming. And they started to say, oh, the imams of the sunnah had to start going step further every time these people came. Or else, from the time of Abu Bakr ila yawmina hadha, these issues will not be a discussion, we're just left. Bahat, which is laughing, a bahat uh, is ascribed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Sahih of Imam Bukhari, where the hosts, those who hosted the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the night, uh, and it's a long story, an incident occurred in the morning, they were informed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mean dhaqaq is ascribed to Allah which literally means laughing but Imam Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala states that this in the meaning this the wording dhaqaq here means ar-rahma the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Imam Rubayhaqi also mentions this 